on YouTube, it's your boy Q. You already know what's up. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. But if you're not, you guys should already know what's going on. I put a post in the community channel on YouTube, which if you have not checked that out recently, go ahead and do that. That's how I get all my video ideas. But you guys wanted to see some beats for Ian Dior's new album that just dropped. So with this album, I saw a lot of new stuff on there. Like uh, Ian definitely hit a bunch of different genres and just did some of the stuff he's been doing before, but some new stuff was on there as well. And with the beat we're gonna be breaking down today, I'm gonna be going for like like one of those like summer guitar vibes. So it sounds kind of happy, but it also has that like little emo vibe to it. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this beat. All right, so before we do anything, I'm just gonna play the beat and let you guys get a feel for what we're gonna be doing today. And then I will explain the rest. Yeah. Turn it up, Q. So let's get into the beat. So um, I'm using the same contact bank that I usually always use for any guitar beats that I'm making. It is this bank right here called uh, Session Guitarist Electric Sunburst Deluxe. And uh, for this main guitar melody that, we're, that you're gonna hear throughout the whole song, I'm gonna be using this clean Americana sound preset. All right, so here is the chord progression that I use throughout the whole song. It is an A major and it's super simple. It's just a triad with a bass note under each one. You see you got this triad right here, and the same exact triad placed twice, then it goes down, then it goes down again, and then we have it go right back up, super simple. And then I just have each guitar string getting hit on a half step. So you got the first bass note, then the same root note, and then the second note in the triad, and the third one right here. So let me solo that for you guys, so you can get an idea of what that sounds like. And then the only other thing I did is I hit uh, Alt R on my keyboard just to randomize the notes so you can see the velocities just a little bit offset. And then the next thing I ended up doing was adding this little counter melody, super simple. I believe it is, it's the same contact bank, but uh, it's actually the same exact thing. Uh, just clean Americana, but I added a little vibrato on it, which is just a uh, pitch bend in the guitar string. So it's, it's kind of like a whammy bar. And then I played this counter melody right here. And in order to get it to sound a little less robotic, all I did was hit Alt S, which is usually to strum like a chord progression. But in this case, I was just strumming the notes in the counter melody to throw them off the grid a little bit and just sound a little more realistic. And so what I'll do for you guys real quick is play the counter melody with the original chord progression. Yeah, so I feel like that counter melody is like super important just to get like the actual like summer feeling. You know, I don't know. I felt like that really brought that like summer vibe to it. Next thing I did is I felt like the chord progression and the counter melody, yeah, sounds good, but it just felt a little too plain and I felt like I wanted to fill it out a little bit more. So what I did here is when the first, when the first drop actually comes in, I have the same exact bank. Let me make sure it's the same preset. So this is actually the clean R&B preset. Pretty similar to the original one, but it just sounds a little a little cleaner and it's a little like wider in the stereo field. And basically what I did here is I played the exact same chord progression, but as you can see in the original chord progression, it plays and then there's all this blank space right here. And what I wanted to do is just fill out that blank space. So all I did is I played the original piece right here. So this is the original chord progression. And then what I did is I added this note in between this note and this note, and of course you have the root note down here just playing. So basically all I did was I took the chord progression and just moved each part of it over again. So it just replays into that second bar. As soon as you guys hear it, you'll, you'll understand exactly what I'm saying, but let me solo that for you guys. So you guys get the idea it just adds a little bit more fills out the entire melody so before we go into the drop i want to show you guys what i did here i uh, i took the counter i took the same counter melody from before and i just used same contact bank but i used 
what did I do here? So this is the same, oh, here we go. So I used, uh, I actually used a different contact bank called Evolution Hollywood Blues or Hollow Body Blues. And that sounds like this. And all I did is I duplicated that same exact core, or, uh, counter melody over. So I just stacked them together. And then under that, I also have a bass from Analog Lab, which just plays the root notes of the chord progression. And as each note is played, I have a automation clip right here that controls the that controls part of the filter and as it goes it just opens up the filter and becomes more and more distorted so i'll solo that for you guys just to get an idea of what it's doing so it's this filter right here and all i did is bring it up as the notes played so i'll let you guys listen to that real quick something i forgot to mention is the bpm of the song is at 194 which is which is pretty fast. I, I like normally wouldn't work in this BPM, but I believe it's more so like a halftime BPM. So it's not actually supposed to sound like it's that fast. But I don't know, it, it just worked for the song. So let's break down the drums real quick. So all we do, all we have here is an 808 kick. I got two claps that are stacked, three actually. And all I did with the claps here is um, you can see you have this clap right here, this one and this one, these two are routed to mixer track 11 and this one's routed to mixer track 12. And all I did here is I threw the timing off a little bit using the shift knob. So you have the third one at about like 25%. And then you got this one sitting at 0%, so it's perfectly on grid. And then the first clap, I believe, is almost at 50%. And then I just panned them a little bit. And all this does is just make it sound like super wide. It just makes the clap sound better overall. So then we got a hi-hat right here, super simple two-step pattern, but um, all I did with it is I played around with the velocities, tried to make it sound like it's a, like an actual real open hat. And I believe I also use the shift knob on this a lot too. Yeah, so it's almost at 50% as well. And then I have uh, two open hats. And that is the, and that's the entire drum loop. So I'll play that for you guys just so you get an idea of how that sounds. So the goal here was not, I don't, I didn't want to have something too crazy with the bass. So I just used a simple spins 808, but I wanted all the drums to sound like uh, they were, I wanted the drums to sound real. So, you know, I have this open hat right here called the Uzi, which sounds like a legitimate open hat. hat. And then the only other thing I did to add a little bit of bounce is I have two kicks right here and right here that are just playing at lower velocities. So yeah, the key to beats like this is you want to keep it simple, but at the same time, there's a lot of things you got to do to make it sound realistic because the goal with this beat was to have something that sounds real, but something that's also super simple for someone to rap on. But that is about it for this beat. All I really did was just, I looped it a few times. So there's a basic intro. So yeah, I just looped this section right here a few times and I have the volume fade out at the end and that is the entire beat right there. So if you guys did enjoy this video, if, if you guys are enjoying uh, the new structure I'm kind of doing, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you'd rather have me do like like full cookups and everything, just let me know in the comments below. But always, always check the YouTube community section because that is where I'm getting ideas from you guys. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, turn the bell notifications on, check the links in the description. I got everything you guys need down there. But that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, turn it up, cute.